The holiday season is upon us. Some folks are gung-ho, others not so much. While the holidays themselves aren't the problem, dealing with relatives, the ongoing pandemic, sensitive topics might be. Psychiatrist Dr. Victoria Kelly joins us this morning with ways to deal. Good morning, thanks for joining us today. Uh, good morning, thanks for having me. Absolutely, I mean, it is the most wonderful time of the year, but boy, can it be stressful. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, yeah. It's like you think you just got past the back to school season and yes. now the holidays are there. Yeah, so uh, first of all, I think the thing that's on everyone's mind right now, um, we are still in a pandemic, so we have a Thanksgiving coming up next week. Uh, what mm -hmm. are some things we should be thinking about in terms of safety for these events? Yeah, I think there's two important questions that come up um, as the holiday approaches uh, this season. And one is, should I even attend, right? There's a lot of things that may come up and, and come into your decision making. So can you do this? Um, can you handle the safety uh, risks that might be involved? Uh, and the other one is like, well, if I'm going to do this, if I'm going to go or I'm going to host, what should I do to he um, deal with these potentially heated topics? Mm -hmm. So what you see listed here are some baseline things to just keep in mind, um, <clears throat> and especially if you're hosting, you know, as a host, you kind of have a higher responsibility to uh, manage the flow of the evening. And so number one, I would say is absolutely, we need to still keep safety in mind, sure. despite vaccinations, you know, we've definitely not reached herd immunity. Um, and so you need to keep safety in mind. So, you know, maybe consider having a smaller get together or a shorter get together, less mm -hmm. people, um, you know, and the hand sanitizer and hand washing, um, and we absolutely cannot forget those right right so that is still going on um, mm -hmm. and then we think about you know is this something that I should go to like maybe in, in my situation um, maybe I don't feel comfortable going uh, to another mm -hmm. home or, or gathering with another family uh, and then there's the sci psychological factor to that too right so I think there's three things to consider and one is is this something that you can do right I mean our schedules are super busy and we only have so much energy in a week mm -hmm. and you know we may have individual health risk factors that we don't feel comfortable putting up for risk so is this something that you can do uh, number two would be is this something that you feel like you have to do right mm -hmm. so either social or familial or even professional obligations and the last one is this something that you actually want to do um, and I think that's the big one that um, really kind of eats away at people and makes the holidays so stressful yeah. So you think, you know, is this emotionally draining? The people you're around, do they just bring drama, crisis, complaints, you know, manipulation, guilt, and afterwards you feel tired, anxious, you know, that's emotionally draining. And are you going to be able to deal with the crash and still do what you need to do for yourself and your family? And, you know, when dealing with, um, friends or relatives, there may be topics that come up that you just don't feel like talking about. Sure, and yeah. so can you set those boundaries with them, with uh, your friends and family? Do you feel comfortable and confident to be able to do that, uh, to deal with those conflicted topics? So those are all things to consider before even deciding if you want to go. <laughs> and you know, and then when, when you are there and ultimately maybe things do go a certain direction with topics, and I love to think about it this way, Am I the person who is talking about those topics, the politics, right. you know? Um, maybe yeah. we need to, to look inward a little bit here. Yeah, you know, most of the etiquette experts will say, in general, topics of conversation that should be avoided are uh, religion, politics, and money. Yes. And, you know, this season, maybe we want to add other topics on there um, <laughs> because really connectedness is the goal here. And, um, you know, are you telling me you don't have anything else in your life to talk about other than these conflicted, you know, hot button topics? Mm. Um, so, you know, so have other scenarios, other topics ready to talk about and kind of psych yourself up, game plan. You know, if Uncle Joe starts talking about this or that, then this is what I'm going to say, or this is what I'm going to plan. Um, and you know, if you're the host, it might be good to have a safe space so that if people do want to talk about these topics, they can go to a different room, um, you know, so that they can get what they're they want out of it um, and then other people can uh, enjoy themselves in different ways so having um, more of a strategic approach to the holidays uh, it will be really important to be able to maintain your sanity really uh, through the season <laughs> yeah and you know if we've got to redirect conversations you know there's always a few phrases uh, that mm -hmm. you can use my favorite is 
I'm gonna go grab another snack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, <clears throat> it goes back to those boundaries and, you know, do you consider yourself kind of assertive or more passive? And so these are some examples of things that you can say. Um, so I love you. Uh, and, uh, and we need to stop talking about this right now, or I'm happy to have a conversation, but now is not the time. Um, or even, I hope you understand, but I've decided to take a break from talking about this topic. And yeah, if it all fails, you say, okay, <laughs> that's interesting. I'm going to go get a snack. <laughs> In some <laughs> cases me. for people, yeah. it's, I'm going to go get a drink <laughs> exactly. See you exactly next year right yes. so um yeah this could be a really tricky time but i think we all really do want to enjoy the holidays and i think as you mentioned if we keep you know forefront the whole mm -hmm. point of things like thanksgiving then we're gonna have we'll have a good time yeah, it's much more likely that the goal will be achieved, which is the social connection and, and the feeling of uh, connectedness and intimacy with your family and friends. Yeah, wonderful to, to, you know, that's what we need to focus on, and it could be a really mm -hmm. nice holiday. Uh, Dr. Kelly, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Hopefully you will have a nice holiday season. <laughs> Hopefully so. <laughs> Take care.